I spent ten long years trying to find where the Enclave took my paw. Finally found that base, Mariposa. All the trail of lies, treachery, and death that the Chosen One left in his wake. From Redding to Broken Hills, New Reno to Navarro. And it all led me right to my paw's final resting place in the deepest levels of that base. The miners taken from Redding had been forced by the Enclave to dig out the place after the Chosen One's grandfather destroyed it. The place was so full of pre-war mutagenic goo that eventually every one of their poor souls mutated, including my paw. Enclave must have gotten what they were after and cleared out. They wanted to kill everyone, but soon learned you don't pick a fight with pissed off mutants. They sealed the place behind them with Paw and everyone else from Redding still inside. The Chosen One came along later, blew the place open again, went on a killing spree. They all turned to mutants by that time, including Paw. All that man ever wanted from life was to be a stage magician. Maybe move to Reno or Vegas, do a magic show at one of the casinos. The Chosen One made sure he never got the chance. Stop talking to me! Leave me alone! This here rifle is the only thing I have left to remember him by. I'm sorry, Junior. Spent 30 more years on the road chasing after the Chosen One. Up and down, from Frisco to Arroyo, and never caught up to him. Now thanks to the Ranger here, Got a chance to kill the Chosen One's grandpappy, put my father's soul to rest. Sorry to interrupt, but I smell bad men. The ones who take dogs away. Bad men who take dogs? Must be the Legion Houndmasters. They capture dogs and then use them as warhounds against the Republic. They used to be a tribe called the Hangdogs before the Legion assimilated them. The android we're hunting is probably out of the city by now. We'll catch it on the road, or when it tries to cross that big river in the middle of the country. The Mississippi. All right, storyteller, we get it. There's nothing you don't know. But tell me this, why didn't the Chosen One help them mutants and my pa escape? He could have told them about Broken Hills, but instead he unleashed hell on them. Broken Hills? Broken Hills is the name of a town in California. Well... It was. I was designed for local law enforcement. I do not have access to maps beyond the four states commonwealth. California is a big place to the west, and Broken Hills was a mining town before the Great War, back when you were probably just a puppy. When Junior and Ranger Tanner were just kids, Broken Hills was still a mining town, but a different kind of miner lived there. Places like Gecko and Vault City needed uranium to fuel their nuclear reactors, but humans couldn't mine or process the stuff because uranium is radioactive. So humans and mutants worked together there. The founder and sheriff of Broken Hills was a person named Marcus, who was at least a hundred years old back then and is still alive today. Marcus was one of the first generation super mutants, chosen by the master's keen eye for his genetic potential. After he mutated, he was just as smart as he'd been before. After the Vault Dweller defeated the Master, his mutant followers were left leaderless, drifting through the wasteland. The brutes rampaged through the land, but the more intelligent ones like Marcus tried to find a new purpose and a use for their genetic gifts. He drifted about the wastes until he ran into a Brotherhood of Steel paladin named Jacob, and the two fought for days in the middle of the desert with neither gaining the upper hand. They decided to travel together and debate their political views instead of punching each other. And in time, they became unlikely friends. The sight of them was an inspiration to other wanderers, or maybe people just felt safer in the company of a huge mutant and a guy in power armor, so they eventually amassed enough followers to form their own town. The reason they needed a giant mutant sheriff was that all those different kinds of people couldn't get along all the time. The super mutants did the hard work in the mines, ghouls processed the raw ore, and humans traded the product with other towns, 
because many places like Vault City wouldn't do business with mutants. The Chosen One uncovered a plot to kill off the mutants by tampering with the mine's air purifier, and the mutants were plotting against the humans at the same time, too. The Chosen One resolved the troubles in Broken Hills, kept the uranium flowing, it was an important part of the economy, until the mine ran out. According to Marcus, it was good for a while after the Chosen One came, but once the mine had been scrapped clean, the townsfolk dispersed. Now Marcus lives in Nevada, a place called Jacobstown, named after his human friend who helped him found Broken Hills. Last I saw of him, he was trying to cure nightkin mutants who lost their minds to stealth boy poisoning, and he was taking care of the unlucky mutants who lost their intelligence during the mutation process. Old-timers in the Republic capital say they saw Marcus traveling with the Chosen One when she came there looking for Vault 13. By that time, the Chosen One's entourage of companions had grown even larger than the team that traveled with the Vault Dweller. They had been joined by a ghoul named Lenny, and some stories say the Chosen One got married in some little village up in the north. Several roads lead out of Dogtown. The android's not stupid enough to head straight east on the biggest highway. I got an idea about where your android is heading, Ranger. Place in the capital wasteland, most likely. A lot of territory between here and there. Looks like we've got a long way to go. <laughs> <laughs>